going to start off by actually uh, our latest to be able to price yourself correctly unfiltered it's not a question of it's real estate 101 this is real estate unfiltered prepare it know what you're getting into yeah of course they easy to do your homework and back dude the market sucks we just have Well, nobody knows me. I can't get anybody to call me because they don't know I even exist. Well, guess what? Get them to know you. Find a way to know them. Stop blaming the fact that nobody knows you. If you don't have any sphere of influence, if you're brand new to the territory, then now nah, you just moved into the town and you know absolutely zero people. You know what? There's ways to get people's attention out there. And again, best way to do it you gotta spend a little bit of money you gotta get yourself out there in the best possible way but if you don't have the resource to do it do what I'm doing right now I'm on YouTube you could have a free channel on YouTube you could actually run around from street to street and put videos together or when the lockdown ends you can go from house to house and preview the houses and talk about them and there you go you got content and now you all of a sudden you're establishing yourself in the area as a realtor that knows your market it's not that tough you could know zero about a area in real estate and you could know zero about your inventory and within a week to two weeks you could become a quick study and a quick expert as far as knowing what's available out there you know even now even right now in these times, so we're locked up for, for, for the coronavirus, and anyway, we got these COVID times that we're dealing with. You know, you have a scenario where you can't here in New York, you can't actually go and do virtual showings, and you can go and check out the property and to take some video of it and check out the inventory and put it out there to help potential clients of your potential business. Yeah, you might not get paid out of it right now, but you're establishing yourself. You're doing something to create a presence for yourself, okay? So, what happens when the, the lockdown lifts? If you didn't do anything at this point, what do you do? What do you do? You need to be prepared. At least be as knowledgeable as you can about the neighborhood, about the area, about all the inventory that's currently available that way when the lift happens you're able to jump right away do what you need to do service your clients right away because you don't have to waste any time of doing research and background because you already know what what the deal is for all these places and get moving and at the same time you won't be caught up in the glut of new listings that are popping up because you'll be able to see them as they come out and be able to add them to your uh, inventory that you're viewing. If you don't go and check all the properties right now that exist, or at least get knowledgeable, don't even go out there. Go on the web and look at what's out there uh, through public records, through Zillow, through, through MLS, through whatever. Get knowledgeable of it. So when the, the lift happens and all the new properties go out there, you won't be overwhelmed by having to look at all these properties at all in one shot. Because guess what? When it does lift, there's going to be a window. There's going to be a time where you're going to have a ton of buyers that have been waiting and they couldn't get into places. And they need to make that move. And they need to go into a new home or they need to purchase a property or they need to move their business over into a building. And they're going to be running as fast as they can to get what they can to get themselves operating as fast as possible. And I don't know how long that window is going to be. It could be a few weeks. It could be a couple months. It could be a little longer than that. Who knows? 